In this video, I'm going to go over 10 entry-level IT certifications that you can get to help jumpstart your career in IT. If you are new to IT and cybersecurity, it's always good to look at the IT certifications that are available to you. All of these IT certifications that I'm listing will help you actually get a job as they do teach you good skills, not saying it's just for studying. These are also certifications that employers like, and it also shows that you have initiative if you go out and achieve them. Also, please comment below and like and subscribe. Are there any certifications that you're wondering about? Is there any issues you're having when you're studying or are you just confused? Leave a comment below. I'm sure other people would really appreciate it. The first certification and probably one of the best IT certifications you can get, the AWS Cloud Practitioner. And cloud is one of the best skills you can get right now. And this certification is also really good for HR and definitely help you get past HR. Cloud computing is a growing industry and AWS looks like it's leading cloud providers. It was a battle between Azure, 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 Google, and AWS. It looks like AWS might have a bigger market share, which means it might be a better return of investment if you study AWS instead of Microsoft Azure. The cost of this certificate is around $100, 90 minutes to complete the exam, and 65 questions. There are no prereqs before you can take this IT certificate, which makes it amazing. It'll give you a really good base foundation of AWS and whether or not you like it or not. They also have free training along to help you with this, so you don't even have to worry about it. AWS also has a free tier and your computer most likely can run cloud with no problems, so you don't have to worry about upgrading your computer. Some potential jobs for this would be the cloud engineering intern, a junior cloud specialist, or someone who's just like provisioning or deprovisioning accounts. Those are pretty easy jobs. My next one, if you really like Microsoft, is the Azure Fundamentals. Azure Fundamentals. Now, if you don't like Amazon, you can do Microsoft. And niching down into Microsoft or Amazon when it comes to cloud can be really beneficial when getting a job because different companies will use different softwares. And if you're already familiar with Microsoft and the company that you're being hired for has it, then you should be good to go. Even though AWS has a larger market share, there's still a market share for Microsoft and that's not going away anytime soon. Don't know anything and you have zero years of experience, this is a good certificate to start. The cost of the exam is around $165, which is really cheap compared to other exams out there. And it's gonna teach you about Azure security, Azure workloads, how to do basic tasks, in Azure, really just general technology concepts on the cloud and pricing and how all of that works. This is a really good entry level IT certificate to get. My third IT certificate is going to be A+. And A+, is CompTIA's test and it's two tests and it's 232 dollars an exam or $465 and it teaches you everything about hardware and this exam really prepares you for a help desk or desktop support job. If you're already in those types of roles, getting A plus is completely useless. If you're completely new to A plus in the tech world and you don't know the difference between a hard drive, what RAM is, this is a really good starting point because knowing what RAM is is really important or memory. Amazing entry-level IT certification. I do have a video up here that goes into more detail about A plus and how you can pass that exam. A good place to start would be the Google IT support certification. And this certification walks you through step-by-step -step what a network is, what a system administrator is, what an operating system is. The link is below if you wanna check out that course. I strongly suggest it before going after the A plus because the A plus is so so much random knowledge that you might get overwhelmed if you just straight up just start studying it. The link is below. My fourth entry level IT certification would be CCNA. This is for the ambitious. CCNA can be kind of overwhelming if you are new to the field. It is an associate level certificate. So if you're on the help desk and you have like six months of experience, getting your CCNA will definitely propel you into a higher level role. And six months is still entry level. If you have no experience in IT, CCNA 
A may overwhelm you and I would go with one of the other like nine options on this list. Cost is around $300 and it prepares you to be a network administrator, network specialist, a, a NOC working in the NOC. It gives you a really good basis for networking, which you're going to need in a lot of IT jobs. The next IT entry level certification I have is CompTIA Security Plus. And this is an entry level cybersecurity certification. It gives you a base knowledge of IT security and software security that you're going to need to know for any job before you get hired. And if you have this exam, it looks really good. And please do not take any shortcuts. Actually learn the knowledge because it will come back to bite you. I'm just gonna go over encryption versus hashing, confidentiality, integrity, availability, what exactly cybersecurity is, compliance and rules and regulations, vulnerabilities, threats and risks, and all of that fun stuff. This is great if you wanna get into cybersecurity after you get a good base knowledge of IT. Check out my video on what I would do if I could start all over again. The cost is around $370 and it prepares you for like say a lower, like a tier one, maybe tier two like administrator. So maybe you're creating accounts. Maybe you want to become a security analyst. This is a good start. My next entry level IT certification would be Microsoft Fundamentals. And this is if you don't know anything about Microsoft and you want to learn more. This is literally the fundamentals of Microsoft. Knowing your way around Microsoft is really good for any job because all businesses have computers. And if you know the operating system and you are tech savvy, it just makes you look really good as a lot of people in 2021 and 2022 are not technically competent in a way. And this will lead you to a more advanced certification, but this is a great place to start. And the cost is around $99 and there are no prereqs to take this course. It is an entry level. The next entry level IT certification is CompTIA Net Plus. I personally love CompTIA Net Plus and it gives you a good basis of what a network is. So if you don't know what a switch or a router or DNS or how a network works, any of that, then this is a really good starting place. Now, if you're between Network Plus or CCNA IT certifications and you're not really sure, I would go with the Network Plus because it is a little bit easier and it won't overwhelm you because you can easily get overwhelmed with all of these certifications and all of this knowledge. You'll also learn some things like what the OSI model is and different protocols, how network configuration works and how to configure a workstation. Knowing what an 802.11 wireless network is and how are they are, are used are some of the things that you're going to learn. And that certification costs around $320, but this is always changing. My next certification is the Gaia Information Security Fundamentals. This one is a little bit expensive at $2,500. Gaia is a really good name. I did include it in this just to give you the option. Maybe you don't care. And Gaia is industry known, so it could be good if you have the money to do this, but there are cheaper alternatives. The Gaia Security Fundamentals Cybersecurity Certification covers basically the same as the Cybersecurity Security Plus certification. Basically like what encryption is, what exactly is cybersecurity, why do I need to know cybersecurity, encryptions and vulnerabilities. I wouldn't say it's competing because the price is so high. If you have the money, I would say go for it. My ninth absolute beginner IT entry level certification is the Google Digital Leader. And this is if you don't know anything about cloud, this certification will teach you cloud fundamentals and why it's used and pricing tiers. After you take this certification, then you'll go on to like more advanced of the Google certification. This is just kind of like a primer and it costs around $99. There's no prereqs, but it doesn't really prepare you for a job because it's so basic. So if you're really intimidated by all of these other IT certifications, this might be a really good place that you can start. My final entry level IT certification is the CAPM, CAPM maybe. And this is for those extroverts out there that wanna become IT project managers or cybersecurity project managers. CAPM will prepare you and give you a good basis of project management and help you get an entry level project management job. This costs around $200 and prepares you to be like a junior project manager, IT project manager. If you like organizing and you like planning and you like lots of spreadsheets and deadlines, this may be the career path for you. Taking any one of these entry level IT certifications and studying for it will give you a better basis of exactly all of the things that you can do in the world. Those would be the 10 easiest entry level IT certifications in the industry 
industry that will prepare you for basic entry level jobs such as a junior cloud associate or help desk, desktop support, system administrator, those types of roles. So leave a comment below. Did I miss any? Do you have any questions about any? Check out all of my other videos on IT and cybersecurity, and I'll see you into the next video.